All right, what's going on, guys? It is your boy TKD. One dude here, back in plays and source, and we did get a brand new PS5 update this week that I just got my hands on a few days ago, and I did want to just go over the biggest feature of this PS5 update that is, of course, the Welcome Hub. A lot of you have a lot of questions about it, and some of you may not even have access to it yet, which I will shed some light on here on this video, and we'll go over some other things briefly that are a part of this update that aren't too crazy, but definitely the main focus here is Welcome Hub and how it. It can be tuned and customized to exactly your liking. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So here we are on the PS5 DualSense in hand with the brand new tab here that used to be Explore and is now called the Welcome Hub here for the PS5 with this brand new update. Now for those that have not seen this yet on their PS5, they did say a few days ago on the blog that this will be rolling out in phases over time in the US first I believe and then eventually to other countries and territories across the world so if you have not seen it yet if it's not showing up yet it's not a you issue eventually your PS5 will update to get this new welcome tab here and a bunch of other features with this new update so I did want to just walk through this brand new welcome tab as you can see here it takes the place of the explore tab next to the PlayStation Store and your latest game that you have played so far Astrobot stream series is going on check out that if you guys have not already but here is is the welcome tab here so one of you know uh my favorite schematics is one that i have here that i already laid out um and it's basically going to be your central hub for a bunch of different widgets that will come up here and that you can customize and replace and remove as well that we'll go over here in the video but this is how i have my layout i think this is probably my perfect layout here i got my trophies here i, I definitely care about checking my trophies definitely care about seeing seeing what my friends are doing and there are really cool additions to this these uh widgets because some of them as you can see here on the wishlist widget has l1 and r1 where you're going to be able to swipe through and look at the different various games on your wish list or the you know multitude of different things that are on that given the widget so for ps store we have the same thing here as well we can tap through it as well as the media gallery which is definitely one of my favorite additions where we have some of your screen grabs a lot of five and seven here as you can see um that you'll be able to kind of go through and i think this is a really cool way to just look back at some really cool memories that you have with you know your ps5 and such and i've been really enjoying it oh that's a good one that's a good one that's a good one very very good stuff there on that um as well as over here with the storage one you can see your ssd storage as well as your console storage friend activity shout out to everyone here that has featured on this friends activity for me my boy peter my boy christian my boy jared of course oh yo my boy jared got that platinum in astrobot okay okay fatima of course as well easy bay you know what i'm saying i a lot of really cool things that are going to be able to be shown here by just l1 r1 you'll be able to tag through and see what your friends are doing same with news here as well um and i thought you could with friends too i guess not i don't know what, what, what was up with that so on this tab this is where you'll be able to do the really good fine tuning of what you want actually displayed and so a lot of them you'll be able to toggle on and off as well as if you hit the l1 and r1 to increase or decrease you can increase or decrease the widget size now my biggest complaint about this is that the bigger widgets show less information which i don't understand how that is possible very counterintuitive not really a big fan of it there are some like with trophies where that's properly tuned where actually no it's not no it's not like i feel like if it's going to be the bigger widget you should be getting more info about that given widget um here i guess with the battery level you you do get that with more um indicators of what's charging and what's not but especially here with the console storage as well but i wish that these were better tuned in a way to be able to show you more information at a at a glance when they're bigger or smaller but you can of course toggle all these you can also move them with square so you can move these around and stuff like that to different categories and different um places on the actual welcome tab it is very intuitive very nice here um and you can uh, and like i said before you can turn these on or off i have accessibility and messages off because i don't really message much on psn and uh, uh accessibility don't really need it generally speaking so that's how you're going to be able to fine tune these widgets and everything and be able to move them and change your sizing and stuff like that very cool additions to the welcome tab
but what's featured on the thumbnail and is one of the biggest additions of this welcome tab is indeed the background so this is going to be where you're going to be able to pick some from some from playstation here where there are really cool you know red we got a little purple thing going on these are custom made directly on the console already this one's actually really cool as well this like purple and pink one's very cool this one's cool as well my favorite is that we will have picked now and some of them are animated they'll show you in that bottom little logo that these are animated so this will move in the background this is definitely my favorite but there's other ones like this animated one I do wish this had a preview that you could look at, but very cool nonetheless. Very cool option to have that as well, and something that has been long wanted in the community are custom thumb, are you know custom backgrounds and custom wallpapers. Now with the wallpaper situation, you can choose uh, different images from your media gallery if you'd like. So if I wanted to you know put my boy Astrobot on the background, I can do that, or I can put you know rest in peace concord you know we can also do that as well a little bit of kingdom hearts action as well so very cool additions here that you can mess with in the media gallery um and you can tap from favorites or recents um but from games we only have one so far and that is this one here from astrobot so i'm hoping that this starts a precedent where we're, where we'll be able to get more uh animated backgrounds here from different games in the future so that would be really cool to have there and yeah you know it's not the custom themes that a lot of people want but given how the ps5's layout is already having this welcome page i think is very very nice to be able to add a little bit of personal touch to your ps5 console even though it's not straight up themes like a lot of you want but i think this is honestly a very very welcome middle ground for me personally um i'm gonna rock with the one that i had before i love this background i think it looks really clean um i definitely like it overall and so last part here as well with the welcome hub we do have these different um you know pre-made layouts for your welcome home hub from playstation where we have ones that are focused on gameplay where it'll highlight trophies and your battery percentage and different news and every ps store and your console storage and stuff like that it's basically just different widget orientations that best fit your you know aspire to kind of welcome hub activity right so if you're focused on gameplay you can do that for single player sessions or for multiplayer stuff with social if you are much into online gaming you get messages a lot it'll bump those in the front as well as highlights we'll probably see what's on top of news from playstation and your friends and your favorite games and stuff like that so very cool way to set it up if you just want to do something very quickly and you can edit these as well specifically so you can start with a template on the uh sorry you can start with a template on the presets and then tweak it how you want to specifically i like my preset that i made i think it's oh wait oh no oh it messed up <laughs> no i gotta i gotta oh that's bad i wish it saved your um your preset that you had oh you see because i hit one of these and it overrode my over over overwrote my preset so very good thing to know here guys here live on the video you can mess up your preset if you are not being careful and so welcome hub is definitely the biggest part of this update but like i said before we do have some brief things to go over involving some other updates very quickly here none too crazy here first up we do have party share so users will be able to generate a shareable qr code straight from ps5 to send to others on messaging or social media apps to seamlessly join the party on their ps5 or from playstation app even if you haven't added them to your friends list on psn so this could be very cool for social things and stuff like that if you you know want to get random people but don't have them added so very cool to see here as well and also in the coming weeks users will be able to send shareable links straight from the ps app as well so that shows up in a little like link card that you see on ios very cool to see there next up here we have things involving personalized 3d audio if you do have headsets or headphones that are really good you'll be able to utilize 3d audio with this new update with some tests required as well with a set of any headphones or earbuds users can run through a set of sound quality tests to analyze a vast number of factors to create an audio profile that best fits your hearing characteristics to further immerse and enhance the audio on ps5 the blog has some more details on how they use you know 3d tempest audio and all this fancy you know overall detail but that's the general gist of it you'll be able to get 3d audio on your earbuds or headphones through this analyzation process on ps5 next up for those that have multiple ps portal users or just multiple people in the house that use a singular ps5 you'll be able to 
control the remote play settings on a user by user basis. Users will now be able to adjust remote play settings per user and choose who is allowed to connect to your PS5 and who is not by using remote play. So you'll be able to control which user can connect or not connect with simple toggles. Very simple there. And lastly here, we have one of our first PS5 Pro features coming to consoles if you do have the PS5 Slim model. So this will only be available to those that have the PS5 Slim or the upcoming PS5 Pro model, and that is adaptive charging. Adaptive charging for the DualSense wireless controller, DualSense Edge controller, PSVR 2 Sense controllers, and the Access controller are available when the PS5 console is in rest mode. Adaptive charging helps save power by adjusting the length of time that the power is supplied to your controller based on its battery level. So this is more of a very environmentally friendly, you know, eco-friendly kind of setting here, where it's going to be able to distribute power much more efficiently based on what the controller actually needs and not just a constant flow of power whenever something's plugged into it, right? Like I said before, this is only available for the PS5 Slim and the upcoming Pro model. A uh, base PS5 like mine will not be able to access this feature. So that is about it, guys, for the Welcome Hub update down below. What are your thoughts on it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? What widget orientation are you going with the most? And also, what widgets would you like to see added to the Welcome Hub? Let me know that all down below in the description. Link below to the patient blog where this is all detailed. And thank you all for watching. And as always, greatness awaits.